Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So news we're looking at today is Small Love Potion. So what is Small Love Potion? It is a ERC-20 token running on the Ethereum blockchain and it is part of Axie Infinity, the blockchain game, um, which has been around um, for a long time now, a year and a half and, and still going strong and, and building towards um, a marvellous future. But uh, what is Small Love Potion? It, well, it, it, it's actually useful in the game. So it was brought in at the start of 2020 and it is a um, something that you earn by battling. So one of the kind of fairly new things that Axie Infinity brought in is this battle mechanic. So you take your axes and, and they were different characteristics, of course, and then you battle them and uh, you can win or you win these um, small love potions. So why are they useful? Well, to breed your Axie Infinities. So, so Axie Infinity came out of the CryptoKitty um, kind of explosion um, and it has this breeding mechanic. In fact, that was what the game was originally about. And then it's added these extra features. Uh, but to breed axes, um, you need the small love potion in order to to breed them and, and then obviously kind of try and get new variations and a new kind of um, genetic kind of uh, mix-ups. So the small love potion has been around for a while. Um, why are we looking at it now? Well, you can kind of see here, um, um, price is never a good indication necessarily of, of, <laughs> of what's happening. But in this case, we are seeing um, a lot of price um, uh, increase. <laughs> so we can see here, this is, this is uh, um, coin gecko um, we can see here that um so over seven days we are up almost two thousand percent on small love potions um this is this is just the so this is the this is the daily this is the 24 hour um chart so we can look here and we're 0 0.005 cents so what's that one five thousandth of a us cent and here um we were almost peaking at 0 0.1 almost drop down a little bit but um obviously um, that's that's the pricing increase and it looks even uh, bigger if we look at it over seven days so we're starting basically at nothing and we've got this kind of massive massive peak going on obviously we can play around with the scales and see even more trajectory and at some point it just becomes vertical pretty much okay so so why is that happening well obviously we need to point out this is not because suddenly millions of people have started playing Axie Infinity and the fact that these things have become more valuable because people suddenly lots more players need to buy them in order to um, uh, start breeding axes so it comes from um, a, a specific uh, channel on on uh, 4chan uh, about kind of business which is very crypto heavy and um, for some reason uh, small love uh, potions has taken off there um so it is it is in a sense this is not a good thing <laughs> this is highly speculative i would be um not surprised in a few days time in a week's time if, if basically this has gone right back to zero again um because people are about buying these and trading them um much as they did do with a uh, tulip bulb back in holland um <laughs> 200 years ago or the south sea uh, share company in in london um similar period of time hundreds of years ago um, when people start to think they can make easy money then then they pile in a lot of money and the whole thing becomes a bubble um, but what's interesting is there is you know there there is kind of uh, what we used to call tokenomics that there, there is um, utility around um, why you might want a small love potion so let's quickly go and have a look at that so this is a really nice article we can see from um, January the 10th 2020 so um, six months ago from my colleague Dragos at that radar um, and he um, it's looking at uh, Axie Infinity as kind of a, um, a DeFi kind of stack. So I won't go into all of this, but it kind of shows us here that we need these small love potions in order to breed our Axies together. So that's kind of why why they they will have value for people who are playing Axie Infinity. What's also interesting, in fact, it's kind of ironic that because the gas price is so high on Ethereum at the moment, um, it's very expensive to breed Axies. So actually, at this point, um, there's quite a lot of small love potions um, like not being used because people, even Axie Infinity players, can't breed uh, because it's just too expensive uh, for, for the Ethereum gas price. So, so it's kind of it is ironic that the price has shot up when actually there's the utility has kind of gone away for the for the time being at least. Um, but why is this about DeFi? Well, of course, there is Uniswap, which is a um, automated token exchange protocol, um, and anyone can set up a what we call a liquidity pool on Uniswap. All you need is obviously some of the tokens. Um, so 
Um, and you can set up, uh, if you've got some small off potions, um, you can set up a liquidity pool between, um, obviously the popular ones tend to be ETH and uh, small love potions. There's a uh, wrapped ETH and small love potions. There's uh, another one as well, I think. Uh, but you can just set up that liquidity pool and people can trade it in and out of that. Um, um, so there is a situation which isn't really happening now because of the gas price, but but potentially people could earn um, could earn money by playing Axie Infinity. You could play Axie Infinity. You could you could um, do these battles. You could earn small love potions. Then you could then sell your small love potions um, to people who wanted to buy them. Um, so there is this interesting idea that that, that is um, definitely uh, going to be big. I think in the future that because with blockchains you have these tokens and tokens can be used in many different ways, um, and people can. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, Uniswap is just one version. There's other things. Other things come in like Curve and Balancer and and different ways of automatically swapping and trading these tokens without using centralized exchanges or even or even peer-to-peer -peer trading um so we can see here this is again back in january so small love potions were selling for 0 0.3 cents so we can see they dropped off a lot um so when they first came in actually the the, the price was um kind of uh, high and, and went up a little bit and now it's kind of went they went down a lot for a few months because just yeah they were being used but no one was buying them in bulk and now we've got this kind of slightly crazy situation where they have bombed up in price um should, should point out um, I do own some. I don't even know how many, <laughs> embarrassingly, because I never, never do this stuff for money. But I do, um, I do have some in a actually in a Uniswap liquidity pool where they, um, until the start of this week, lost me about fifty fifty dollars, I think. So now they've made me ten dollars or something. I, I haven't looked um, today to see, <laughs> but uh, it is funny, and I think um, you know more seriously, it is. What's really interesting about blockchain, um, not so much that the price has bombed up, um, but but you have these very interesting kind of um, kind of moving um, kind of pieces, these cogs that kind of can be built in a certain way, um, and that also you know um, allows for you know if people want to speculate, they can speculate um, in, a, in a in a much um, actually in a much more um, liquid and volatile way than you can do with with, with this kind of stocks and shares. So that's one of the good sides. One of the downsides as well is obviously what, come, what goes up must come down. Um, I'm not going to sell my my small love potion, so I'm not going to cash in because um, I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it to kind of in, uh, provide liquidity to to a game I think is good. But anyway, um, I thought that was an interesting uh, kind of kind of video to be doing today. If you're interested in blockchain games, please do subscribe to the channel. So we spend all our time playing blockchain games and, and doing silly things with them um, and, and enjoying uh, the experience. Uh, not trying to make money um, particularly. Um, but if you're interested in that, please do subscribe. But thanks for watching this one and hope to see you again soon.